parts of Europe, parts of the US, and parts of Asia. What are its abiotic factors? Its abiotic factors are rocks, soil, water, sunlight, temperature, climate, anything that's not living. What are the native plants and their adaptations to live there? There's trees and shrubs, and then there's ferns, which have the, the shrubs and ferns have broad leaves to capture more sunlight. And then the trees are tall, so they can get to the sunlight. Yeah. What animals live there, and what adaptations do they have to live there? Well, there are squirrels, bears, deer, there are eagles, many different kinds of salmon, and most of them hibernate and get bad or store food, like that. Give examples of cooperation and competition between and among species. Animals usually go around looking for food and by, comp by competing for it, and both the other animals, they cooperate by helping each other find food and not eating each other. What are some things to do in the temperate forest? There are so many things to do in the temperate forest, like zip lining and fishing. Perks. What are some points of interest that you might want to go to? Well, Forks, Washington has a twilight tour place, and you can go beach walking and hiking, and uh, you can come around the fall time and all the trees, leaves turn different colors. It's a fun time to come. What other biomes are nearby for side trips? Well, so there's chaparral and taiga biomes that also have trees and other plants. And if you go a little bit further than those, there's some almost desert, so more of grasslands. What is the average precipitation and temperature? The average precipitation is 2 to 5 feet a year, and the average temperature is 75 degrees. Suggest the supplies or gear that someone should bring if they're going to make their trip more enjoyable. Well, if you're going in the springtime, it's going to be quite rainy, so bring an umbrella, raincoat, some boots. If you're going in the summer, it's going to be a little bit hotter, so bring some leggings or some shorts, some tank tops. If you're going in the fall, it's going to be really cold, so bring a jacket. And if you're going in the winter, it's going to be really, really cold, so bring a jacket, a warm jacket, some really nice thick socks, something like that. What are some threats to this biome? Air pollution is a major threat to this biome. Are there any endangered species? Well, yeah, the red wolf, the elk, the bison, the caribou. Is there a fear of climate change in this biome? Yes, scientists think or fear for a change in climate for this biome. If you could sum it all up, why is this biome important? The temperate forest is important to the global biome because the fo these forests create tons of oxygen for us to breathe, and the animals make the world go round. Bye. Goodbye!